what's up everybody so today is actually a pretty nice day um i was gonna be kind of lazy today it's saturday um but the mailman just dropped something off and let me go ahead and show you so not only did we get a new garage creeper uh to lay on when i'm underneath the cars but also got my fuel tank so uh this is the new fuel tank for the mustang and it's actually made from year one, which was interesting because um, when I ordered it, I said it was made by Aeromotive. But let's go ahead, crack this baby open and see what we got. All right, got her out. <laughs> so after struggling to pull out, you know, it's story of my life, the gas tank anyways, um, this is pretty fucking badass because it's actually really nicely like primered. Um, one thing I did notice, it did come with this gasket right here. So, I do have the fuel pump gasket, but what I am noticing is I am missing the vent and then the inlet gasket. But, so, just gonna, you know, brief a little bit of information about this gas tank. So, this is essentially an 0304 Cobra gas tank. So, as you can tell, the pump sits in the middle. You can have a way bigger pump setup. It is also baffled inside. So this will keep uh, fuel sloshing away from the pickup of the fuel pumps to a minimum. But the biggest, the biggest um, detail to make it properly work in a Mustang or in a Fox body is this right here, the inlet. So this inlet is the correct size for the Fox Body fuel filler neck, where I believe the Cobras is a lot larger or a lot smaller, but it's, it's a different size. And you would have to reconfigure your whole filler neck setup in order to run an, an 0304 fuel tank, um, unless you got this one that's already been adapted. So I think without further ado, I think it's finally time to show you guys the fuel system that I went with. So it is a four innovations fuel system. So this is the level two for an SN95, so essentially a Cobra, you know, or a Mach 1, anything that has uh, this style of gas tank on it. Um, since it's essentially a Fox body, I figured that, you know, the majority of the fuel lines would work. So this is a dual 274 fuel pump. So that should be plenty of power. It's E85 compatible. Uh, everything's already super nicely wired, you know, weather pack connectors. All the wiring is nice and heavy duty. It's already, you know, terminated, so it's literally just going to be a plug-and-play, damn near. Um, and you can kind of make this work anywhere. So, uh, I decided to go out and get everything, because you can't just get just a, the fuel pump set up and then just make your own lines and give it, you know, your own power. But, I wanted everything to be 100%, so I decided to go with the whole kit, so... I ordered some new fittings, some fittings I thought I would need. Um, so it came with, you know, multiple sets of fittings. I could definitely figure something out, you know, some straights. Then the fuel pump has the option to add a controller to it. And this is probably what truly makes the fuel system work. So a lot of people always have issues with getting their fuel pumps to properly kick on or they overheat because the wiring isn't 100% up to par or you know they got a loose wire, loose ground, all that stuff. So this is their dual pump controller. So essentially all this needs and like dude look at this fucking BFS connector and BFF wiring. So this is just going to get plugged in straight into the battery. You know of course um, with a breaker so they uh, they did offer a breaker as well. So it's an 80 amp breaker. Um, so you never have any issues with if the pumps fail, anything like that, or shorts out. 
it'll just trip the breaker and not burn up your car. So in order to this turn on, it also has a remote wire. So if anyone's ever installed a, I guess it would, an amplifier, kind of when you do key on and your stereo turns on, it'll turn on the amplifier. Well, it's going to be the same thing with this. Like you can use your existing signal wire that was going to turn on your old fuel pump to now turn on the controller box to feed massive amounts of power into both fuel pumps. And then, of course, we do have the wiring for all of this. Um, so here's the fuel pump connectors with plenty of wiring. And then again, uh, plenty of wiring to go from your battery, uh, wherever you have your battery, um, to your controller box. And you want this probably as close as you can to the, to the fuel pumps. Now moving on to filtration, I just, I hate cleaning my fuel filter, so I just went with the biggest one. <laughs> I just went with the biggest one, and um, this has the stainless steel element, so this one is reusable. You just, un, you know, open it up, clean it out, and you can reuse the filament. Uh, and I believe this is also like a 10 micron, so it's, it's a very nice filter, so 128 millimeter filter. Uh, came with the fittings as well, so it already has the fittings on there. Um, and then, of course, last but not least, is the regulator. This thing is absolutely beefy and just massive compared to my old one. So, of course, you know, it, this is going to be a return style fuel system. So, you know, fuel is going to come in, this is going to regulate it, and then it's going to go out to the fuel rails, and then from here, uh, whatever's extra is gonna just gonna be returned back to the fuel tank so this is just an absolute beefy unit you know you got your vacuum port in there um, I do have to get a gauge for it so I just realized I forgot to get a gauge but that's an easy fix and then last but not, not least my freaking nemesis which is stainless steel braided line I know I know I, f I hate it uh, I should have gone with the nylon braid, but this fuel system was incredibly expensive. So I will deal with you. So I know it'll work. And then of course, is this is all PTFE grade, so it has the little liner in there. Um, so later, when once I actually start building the fuel system, I'll show you guys exactly how everything goes together. All right, so I absolutely had to do this. So I just needed to see how it fit and how it would look. Absolutely check that out. Isn't that just awesome to see? So, so far all the bolts lined up. The only thing is that uh, this gasket, um, this that came with the tank, it's kind of weird. It has these little nipples. Um, I'm not sure if they're supposed to go in these holes uh, because it does have four holes, but they're in a different configuration. Um, but everything lines up nicely, uh, nothing looks like it's potential leak. So one awesome thing that comes with, uh, the fuel pump setup is that you get just massive amounts of instructions on how to, you know, set up your, you know, four valve motor with a L1 level one with a level two. Maybe you got you want to step up to level three, level four. So there's level three, there's level four. How to, you know, maintain your fuel pumps. How to, re you know, remove them, replace them, all that good stuff. Let's see, skipping a couple pages, but you know, FC2 controller. How to how to properly wire it in, how to wire in your breaker, how to, you know, plumb up your regulator, all, literally everything, up to literally building the, the fuel line. So, this is kind of why, um, I paid for what I paid. So, this is what you get. You get it all the instructions like when have you guys have bought you know something that was supposed to be badass you know awesome crazy you know supposed to be high tier and it doesn't even come with a lick of instructions like you don't even know how how it, it even supposed to properly maintain it like this tells me how to even properly fill my gas tank it it literally has a section about just filling up your gas tank and 
you know, what level you should keep it at while you're racing. How to prevent heat, you know, if you're experiencing issues, it, it just goes on, you know, in a little bit of detail of stuff like that. So, uh, you as a consumer, um, can be properly educated and then later down the line, if you have a small hiccup, you know how to fix it, you know? So this is why I went with four innovations. So, um, I gotta stop here for now. Um, I do need to pick up a couple more parts, uh, unfortunately. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead, try and see if maybe the lo local auto parts store has these parts, which they possibly could. Um, they, they could be, you know, very easily attainable parts. They, they almost, you know, for the check valve up top, it doesn't even have to be Cobra specific, but I think the only Cobra specific part has to be the fuel level sender. Um, and then uh, just a fuel tank filler grommet for a Fox body. So, um, I think that should be easily attainable through, um, an auto parts store, but yeah, I think I'm going to call it here for now. I'm going to go pick up those parts and immediately, you know, release another video of me installing this because I know this video is probably starting to get a little long winded. So there you go, guys. Wanted to show you guys the fuel system for the Mustang. Um, if you got any questions on it, let me know. This is absolutely the bee's knees of a fuel system. It is badass. It's insane. So if you're on the fence of buying one, just go ahead and buy yourself one. 